let me start the recording as well so databases level 6 and uh, from OTHM and the level of this uh, you know the material is obviously you know the level 6 is compared to level 4 and level 5 isn't it yeah so in level 3 in level 4 uh, you must have a study like a relational databases and simple things and uh, sim similar you know the indicative content yeah and uh, le uh, level 5 uh, you know was slightly uh, you know at advanced level isn't it did you realize yeah yeah and then level six, obviously, what we noticed and tried to, uh, you know, uh, organize the indicative contents, then what, you know, was required basically is that it asked to go through the at least one of the core, you know, uh, market oriented databases like MySQL and Oracle. That was the a kind of one of the practical thing to be involved into this level six yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, by looking at the conventional data and uh, a conventional you know the topics data models relationships and normalization and uh, modeling languages yeah those were similarly you know uh, same to the level four and level five. The new concept uh, that we studied in level six was uh, the concurrency and uh, transaction management. Yeah. So, like we discussed, uh, example yeah. uh, for the. Uh, do you remember which example we discussed in the concurrency and transaction management? Uh, what was that last week? Uh, before before. Yeah. Oh, I, can't, I can't remember now. Um, <coughs> okay. We, you know we the, studied the XML, XML, didn't we? Yeah, it was in the, you know, the second LO. But in the first LO, uh, we did, you know, uh, the Boots example, the concurrent access. At that time, it was a real example. Yeah. Uh, what we did is, uh, Boots website had a concurrent accesses. It went down, and it was making you as a queue. So everyone was trying to access. Did you remember those days? I yeah, I remember now. Yeah. So I picked up from your memory and my yeah. memory. Yeah. It was a very good example yeah. in the transaction and the concurrency, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so please don't forget the, the easiest, I, you know, I, the example, it will help you, you know, so. And then we discussed lots of, you know, the platforms. And in the second LO, uh, we discussed like a conventional three normal, normal farms. And the fourth one was basically the uh, by score normal form, which was a kind of extended uh, third normal form, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, alternative for the drawing uh, uh, ERDs, which was basically the uh, UML. And uh, apart from UML, uh, it's not only the database, you know, the complete databases which are used for the data. Uh, you know, and as a data storage, but the XML is also a kind of data uh, database, a place to store the data, and uh, on the web, yeah, using the DTD uh, data definition, uh, you know, description uh, rules to specify the schema of the data, and XML is itself as a you know database we covered, yeah. It was from chapter three and yeah. chapter four. And then today's uh, unit, have you tried to uh, have a look on the LO3 so far? 
Um, I've had a look over it. Um, it's more of a practical side, isn't it? You've got to demonstrate that you can create a database, uh, you can update yeah, yeah. Uh, tables and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It's more practical. Practical. And uh, have you tried to have a look on the assignment as well? Yeah, I've had a look at the, on the assignment as well, yeah. Yeah, and have you tried to look at the task, uh, the last task, task which is asking you to create a database? Yeah, I've had a look at that on, um, I think it was W3 School. Yeah, but no. Okay, uh, let me... Yeah, W3 School. I, have, I had a look at it. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Uh, did you find the example, example, the exact case study which assignment is asking? Uh, no, I haven't got that far yet. Okay. okay, that's fine. So let me start now. Basically, uh, let me go through the PPT. So, as a database management, So, one practical implication aspect of this uh, hello is that using the normalization decompose, decompose tables to eliminate the redundancy and design and implement the tables. And implementing tables means you are supposed to have the structure of the all tables. Yeah. And uh, depending, depends that uh, for which you know problem you are trying to solve but basically in the assignment is it has been asked for the uh, game mo model gaming model so that we will be discussing like uh, select queries, skewing multiple tables and uh, sorting and filtering data using data manipulation languages using built-in functions and we're using uh, user defined functions so like uh, all conventional you know queries that you are supposed to use, uh, you know, in a fully functional database. And then what you need to do uh, by looking at the, you know, assessment criteria, designing, extracting, testing, and evaluating, these are the normal things. The new thing is only the apply the table and field level security. Yeah. So did you get the chance to have a look what the field yeah. and uh, table level securities are? I haven't got that far yet in the assignment. No, even if you don't go to the assignment, like you have studied the databases. Yeah, no, no, I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't got that far yet. Yeah, so that's why, you know, I plan today to discuss the those things which are, you know, are not covered in the level four and level five. So basically the uh, that's the row and column level security. Yeah. And uh, like 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 this example in the SQL server, how you do this basically you uh, grant the permission basically when you want to make it secure any particular table, for example, grant, you know, uh, select on uh, data. Data one is a database name, and table is a table name, and column one is a, and column two, to user one. Yeah. So what does, okay. what does this yeah. mean, uh, you know, about this? Well, what does that what that this highlighted? Yeah, what does this mean? What that's going to do is for columns uh, one and two, yeah. it's going to grant the select permission to user one. Exactly. Yeah, and in the same way, like you know, it's uh, permissions. So if you want to make it secure, then deny. On uh, so by default, yeah, a grant. Uh, select is given to every user. Yeah. 
and but when it says deny yeah. select table one table uh, you know column three to user one so this has been given the you know uh, restriction and that's basically you know one kind of column security yeah yeah okay so that's the idea behind normally yeah. you know this topic look like that probably you would be you know trying to uh, authorize in a different way but that's basically way the way how the this is done using a queue language yeah then yeah. column level encryption and uh, maybe for example uh if the key for example any particular column is granted let's say the password then what would happen the column itself yeah would remain encrypted and uh, let's say and uh, the database administrator won't need to grant let's say select to one or more for example but by default for example if it is granted yeah let's say uh, about thousand users are there yeah and uh, for example the database administrator is willing to grant the access to let's say 70 people yeah so out of thousand yeah okay yeah yeah out of thousand only 70 people so what he will have to do obviously he will have to write this query you know for 70 people isn't it 70 users yeah 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 but what he can yeah. do is uh what he can do is to create a master key encryption by password equal to this password so master key is created yeah and then mm. uh you know create certificate self signed certificate with subject column encryption then go create a symmetric key symmetry with algorithm aes and in encryption by certificate this and after creating this you know uh, kind of key you go to the database db then go alter table testable add encryption uh, add encrypted column uh, verb binary max null go and then uh, you know after uh, you know creating this uh, you know basically these four steps and i will explain to you why these four steps you know basically uh, fall then update table which one test table set encrypted column uh, you know which column like a particular column width sensitivity data yeah and then uh, you know particular maybe this column uh, you know yeah so here is the you know table sorry the db table he created the uh, encrypted column with name of var binary yeah yeah so var binary and then uh, var binary would have been you know uh, applied the encryption okay yeah yeah so overall what he did he created the you know password and then he tried to configure the you know column encryption and then he created some method and i would explain to you and you know uh, when and then add, by adding this you know wire wire by binary column so what's going to happen 
this set encrypted column means which column the var binary of uh, you know value maximum would have been set with the uh, encryption and only the particular password would have been able to retrieve this so did you get this that how uh, to which column the encrypted column and encrypted column was basically a uh, kind of uh, uh, column added here we need to add a column yeah, table. Yeah, fine, yeah. So, if you could remember... Yeah, I, that, yeah, I get that. Yeah. So, if you could remember that uh, when we, these, you know, the part in the... Uh, sorry. When apply this, uh, you know, certificate in a secure website, you know that HTTPS, yeah, upper text transfer protocol for secure, then a digital certificate is basically installed on the computer, yeah, and it is loaded with the, you know, certificate and the encrypted data, and the browser, you know, is capable to, you know, decode it at the end so what happens that this is basically wheresoever it is not necessary that uh, the password would have been i mean the query would have been retrieved on the server but more possibility is that uh, a remote user yeah could also wanted to retrieve the password to retrieve the particular you know uh, what should I say? Column. Make, uh, is it possible? Yeah, that's, that's what he's saying. Yeah. So the whole communication involves like creating these, you know, encrypted columns, these steps, and additionally, what they did, the certificate things. Yeah. So the certificate thing would, mm. yeah, would involve the, uh, the internet protocols like https protocols as well so like encryption is always being done you know for remote accesses as well isn't it yeah that was the main purpose that everyone who is locally being granted access or you know the outside the system there shouldn't be a way to break it or get it, get the password basically hit. So in this way, wheresoever, for example, you created the application and you wanted to let the, you know, client access this, this database, the whole con connection would have been wrapped into the, the certificate things and, uh, you know, SSL, yeah? Yeah. So that's the basically idea behind uh, applying the column level yeah, permissions or security as a local using, uh, you know, the specified authorization or applying the standard, you know, encryptions. These are basically the uh, symmetric key and AES-256, uh, you know, algorithms the standards of you know the certificates which literally you know need uh, is a 20 years to break a password wow yeah they don't say in the descriptions of these let's say uh, you know these certificates on the banking for example yeah they don't say that it is, you know, non-breakable, for example. But if you had the computing power, yeah, then using a kind of supercomputer, using a kind of supercomputer, uh, you know, the that password can be broken in 20 years. Yeah, you understand this? Yeah. yeah, I get it, yeah. So like uh, 
uh, previously there used to be a recommendation that and the password should be let's say uh, between four to eight characters do you remember those days yeah and then nowadays they say that it must be greater than eight yeah must be containing the numbers and like nowadays the suggested passwords you know are very you know very complicated and they lo don't let you select an easy password every time they say this is not secure this is not good this is not good isn't it yeah and you have to keep going around yeah so this is you know based on the uh, that how those could be encrypted and how those could be decrypted the number more the number of characters would be involved in a password then the possibility to create those you know passwords would require a that much computing power yeah well so this one was the column uh, you know uh, column security then there is the row level security the row level security is basically uh, implemented through a kind of uh, function yeah function is like a scheme binding then access right basically select one as access right where privilege user username or username this is the admin so only the admins could access the particular rows or whosoever for yeah. example you granted to it would be working like that so how that's going to be done basically uh, ado dot new uh, predict function privilege user on dot ado dot testable sorry the dbo yeah so yeah the state is it it's a mechanism basically and if you would have you know in-depth knowledge of nested queues or basically something here is uh, conditions in different languages being used yeah this is the way the advanced commands in the S the sql are basically used but i hope you should have, should have been able to understand that the statement starts with this and uh, add filter predicate these are the variables and this is the actual you know uh, statement yeah 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 fine yeah maybe at some you know very higher level yeah and uh, when you really wanted to do an very specialized you know particular database you know thingy yeah then would you have been used yeah but for understanding i think this would have been a sufficient you know idea that how these things are being applied basically i think the column level was very easy to understand isn't it yeah that's fine yeah and, maybe uh, if i maybe the next level i go into it more yeah so even even applying the uh server the row level is not difficult but once you you know try to understand and read the number of states you know one by one that what is going to be the uh, like uh when you write a program public static white when we define the each and every you know signature of the methods you know so then so all good so far yeah so is it okay yeah yeah it's fine yeah i get that yeah i can i can work with that okay good now so this was about the you know applying server level security now for practical purpose you would require the one good database did you ever get the chance to install the mysql or oracle uh, in your computer yeah i when i did um i think it was level might have been level I, yeah. I'll get a database using so, 
So which database did you install? Uh, my my SQL. You installed the MySQL server, yeah. Yeah, I think I've still got it actually on my. I've, I'll still have that on my laptop now. That's good. And uh, um, so let us go through the simpler uh, installation steps. Uh, so after downloading the file, yeah, what was advised that you install MySQL products and then, you know, these steps need to select, you know, the full mode, maybe, and then some of the, you know, supporting libraries were required basically but requirements if you would have the you know visual visual studio libraries yeah the dotnet framework libraries like a visual cc and you know particular libraries installed in your computer then it would go through otherwise it would throw the error but the supported libraries you know are not installed did you ever get this error no, I think yeah. yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Then what you need to do in the message, whichsoever the library yeah, uh, is missing, you need to go to the, let's say if you are installing on uh, Windows, then Windows would be providing these libraries, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so let me try to show you one more libraries. Uh, Like Microsoft VC 2000 redistributable, these type of libraries basically. Yeah, can you see these? See. Yeah, the voice is breaking today. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, so I have problems with my internet. Do you have a problem? I, I do have problems with my internet. Yeah, it keeps dropping out. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And uh, you know, something to do with that. Few days ago, I was getting doing another class. So a student was complaining, you know, my connection is dropping. So what I asked him, uh, hmm, uh, he had the laptop i3. Yeah. And the RAM he had got as was a two GB of the RAM. So two GB of RAM and uh, doing the real time, you know, audio conferencing. How is that possible? You know, smooth without problems, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So well, after installing these and. Uh, you know, blah, 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 you got it, you selected the username and password. And uh, then at some point, uh, you got it and uh, you got this uh, database with the samples as well. And to play with, and then you were uh, ready to use it. Then it was the case with the MySQL. But let me show you a little scenario for the Oracle as well. So Oracle, the same file, only the tricky things were, uh, you know, selecting the Windows built-in account so that the password for the admin of the Windows as well as the Oracle server should have been same. And then path to, you know, Oracle database where it needs to be stored and then name of the database, administrator password, yeah. And uh, uh, pluggable, the pluggable, you know, a database name 
then after doing this uh, what was done basically we needed to go through some configuration and the password uh, as a user users like sys and something like that and uh, what we got the uh, two things basically an interface showing you the databases in this window uh, window form the tables yeah hmm do you remember yeah. mysql also showed this you know the tables in this form yes it was yeah. through a little um yeah. yeah and you could you could you could either create them uh by right clicking and going create or you could create it through a script yeah and like you know as i remember that the vamp and uh, you know the lamp servers do you, do you remember in the website development we covered those yeah yeah that's yeah. when i installed um i installed a lamp server on this laptop so that's the one you are talking about yeah 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 it, it was it, it's a lamp server it's also yeah. got um yeah uh some nice admin tools as well with it yeah like the server itself and uh, the uh, management of the server you could write the web development as well but what i believe that this version uh, you know was a pure uh, you know the database itself yeah yeah the other the you know the tool well lamp server or the web server that you installed was basically a kind of uh, built in utility that would have been installed straight away but obviously you know that uh, yeah possibly it may not be good enough as an independent database isn't it yeah no it's um it was it was fine for what i wanted to do for the yeah, assignment yeah, but it perfect. wouldn't be good enough for a proper database so what i was able to do is that uh, when i tried to install that what happened it was you know not letting me to correct uh, enter the correct basically passwords because of the names or ssid something and i forward but wh what i realized that uh, uh one of the command So now after you know uh, like here can you see the uh this sql plus yeah i can see that. yeah so did you ever get the chance to use and connect with the database with uh, uh, from the command prompt yeah yeah so like you know most of the databases they have got uh, what one one is the sql command prompt and other is the gui based so uh, after installing this what i confirmed uh, let me see uh, i was able to create the you know new tables into this uh, you know the only i'm thing i'm trying to find a username which allowed me to and there is some mechanism to you know include the sample files as well into oracle yeah so this mechanism mm. needs to be followed and uh, let me see how did i uh, yes yeah here, here it is so user name is sys is s y s t b a and password is simple now it says it's connected to oracle database 12c enterprise edition release yeah so that's it now okay, you can, yeah. yeah you can play here everything 
like you know uh, if you wanted to use the uh, any applications for example if i use the command egg sorry then it it, it worked yeah and i try to uh, you know uh, to create the table then it worked so overall uh, the purpose of you know to giving you this demonstration is you know, for anyone else is that this would have been you know created as the, the sql plus would be the command prompt and the sql developer would be the you know a kind of user based a graphical user interface where you need to you know create a new database instance and create some of the tables into this yeah so you under, you are okay now and got a refresh uh, you know uh, refresh uh, for installing the these you know kind of uh, uh, powerful database as compared to the lamp or van yeah. yeah that's fine yeah so like here you know when when i yeah. needed to uh, get disconnected and populated these you know uh, tables then i would have support you know use the name you know the name of the connection the username and password i gave i did give the this you know username like uh, oracle.home something like that but it was mismatching you know because of some reasons yeah so anyways uh, if i would have gone through the some you know uh, debugging then this i should have been able to show you this interface as well yeah so hopefully you yeah, would okay. yeah. and uh, you would succeed i i hope so and uh, now in this database yeah or maybe if the your you know the sql the mysql server is ready to run on your you know computer and it's fine i think they are saying that uh, uh in the assignment maybe you use the sql server oh, sorry the mysql yeah so now let us come to the yeah. assignment now A scenario is that uh, you are working for a basically multiplayer gaming platform. Yeah. So multiplayer gaming platform is normally known as a massively multiplayer online model. Have you heard about this before? He, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get the chance to learn more about this? No, I didn't know. So what is what basically, you know, they are asking that uh, you create the uh, database structure for that, uh, you know, multiplayer uh, game model. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So multiplayer game model, yeah. I try to uh go through the internet basically i couldn't find the uh, good architecture yeah i don't know maybe you know some books or anything else could uh, you know help yeah but in initially what i could find is that uh, uh, on these two links basically some structure was you know like the erd diagrams were given here can you see this okay yeah like a login yeah I can yeah yeah login and the locations like a pk fire and likely you know that uh, uh, even the table structure is here Can you see that it's in this table? Yeah, okay, so basically. Yeah, the basic. Yeah, uh, so basically they want you to build that. Yeah, like uh, login history, 
players, alliances, and then, yeah, excellent. Uh, even and the ERD diagram is on the, I'll be able to show you this on the ERD diagram as well. Uh, yeah, on this link. Here is the ERD diagram of, uh, you know, multi, massive multiplayer online role playing game. Okay. So, yeah. So that's it. And uh, it's a little bit, what I would say, a uh, very smaller model for this, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Not as small. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? Quite a lot, yeah. I'm just, you know, kidding. So, uh, it's but quite, yeah, I was going to say, it's quite messy, isn't it? That? Yeah, it is messy, but I think that uh, maybe uh, this this source would have, would have been able to help you, and uh, maybe it would have some more help on this page, yeah? So... As long as you can give the idea and create some, uh, you know, the tables and uh, make the ERD diagrams and include into the assignment and evidence that uh, practically you have created some of the tables and could create some of the maybe user interface. And uh, I'm not sure, can't say, you know, that how much successful implementation and working implementation uh, would be acceptable and uh, but always getting the start would be you know uh, good enough isn't it yeah no that's fine so basically i have to for the lab exercise i'm just looking at the assignment here at this end so for this, I have to build an, the ultimate gamers database, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So the gamers is basically, that's the <laughs> model, uh, uh, which I have, you know, the, uh, which is the MMOPRG, Massive Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. Yeah. So this time, you know, I tried to include the uh, assignment and uh, because uh, the practical was you know uh, uh, supposed to be demonstrated and uh, giving the uh, matching with the assignment uh, you know portion was a good idea to discuss today so is it okay if i you know conclude the session for uh, you know database overall lo1 and lo2 we revised and overall, you know, the uh, LO3 creating a database, applying the field level security, and furthermore, some of the, uh, you know, known methods for testing and evaluating database would be sufficient to, uh, you know, complete and achieve the assessment criteria. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy to um, to, yeah. to end the session. Yeah, so, so that would be good. And... Uh, like uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Like this, you know, uh, LO3 uh, contained this and this one as well. Like a security encrypt stored files backup web application. These are also one of the you know indicative content portion you might have seen in the specification file, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But these these seem to be you know to me like. A, a little bit ir irrelevant, you know, sudden from the stored files and applying uh, web application firewall and uh, uh, something like that. So is it okay if you could, you know, pick up some of the necessary and relevant things to include in the assignment would be fine. So it would not be necessary that your assignment should be showing these indicative content explicitly. However, assessment criteria like uh, design and build these keywords uh, to be used, you know, uh, as your, you know, command words within the assignment would be sufficient to uh, uh, get the assessment criteria, isn't it? 
Right. Yeah, okay. Um... I mean, you can go through now to the uh, uh, specification file. So, hang on, two secs. So what you're saying is I don't necessarily have to include all those bits at the bottom of that page. Is that what you're saying? Would you start From with the security? security? Yeah. I mean, I believe that applying, like, if you could see the first thing, like open, using an open source language, for example, okay, you are going to uh, use the MySQL. That's a good thing. Uh, the way the first line security by the you know specification that's not clear that what they mean basically but using appropriate database query creating setting maintaining data tables applying data validation generating outputs user generated queries sql statements and uh, selection and then making use of testing reviewing solutions so i think the uh, building a physical database and bullet points. Can you see these? Yeah. Basically, these are yeah, the main. Yeah, yeah. These are the main things, and these are maybe the sub categories, isn't it? Yes, I can see that at this end. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I understand that. Yeah. So maybe like uh, you could be, let's say, confused. Yeah that uh, how many of the things you are supposed to you know like lo1 content is clear indicative content lo2 is clear and lo3 was somehow you know uh, mixing up with uh, this bit yeah and uh, this bit you know what i mean yeah no that's fine yeah, yeah i know what you're saying yeah that's fine so, i'll go by that top there and that that makes that makes sense yeah. That makes a sense and ultimately you know many of the things would have been included and at some point for example if you could not implement the let's say security yeah then uh, into in your example then you can get the example of applying the let's say uh, row level column level security yeah which is the permission or you know the encryption so you can be, still give the example that we discussed into the one of the link today yeah yeah that's fine yeah and you remember when we did the first you know link for uh, applying the column level and the field level security yeah 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 okay good stuff so anything else you know apart from before i close the you know Stop the recording and then we discuss a little bit more. That's that's fine, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So